Okay, now we're moving on to sampling distributions. So 2012 survey of a random sample of 2253 U.S. adults found that 1329 of them reported using a search engine such as Google every day to find information on the Internet. We want to find the relevant proportion and give the correct notation with it. Well, since this is a sample, we're told right here it's a random sample, the notation would be our notation for a proportion for a sample, which is p hat. This is the number that use Google, 1329, or use a search engine over the total number surveyed, which is 0 0.590. So the relevant proportion is 0 0.590. The correct notation is p hat. Now, is this a parameter or a statistic? Comes from a sample, so it is a statistic. So since it's a statistic, we want to give the notation for the population parameter that is estimated based on p hat. The notation would be p, and definition, p equals the proportion of all U.S. adults who would report that they use an internet search engine every day. Now, let's move on. We have a sampling distribution shown for the proportion of U.S. citizens over 15 years old who have never been married, and it's using data from the 2010 U.S. Census and random samples of size 50. So what does one dot in the dot plot represent? One dot represents the proportion of people who have never been married in one sample of 500 people. So use the sampling distribution to estimate the proportion of all U.S. citizens over 15 years old who have never been married and give the notation for your answer. So we are estimating the population parameter, and we know that because it says all. That's P. And we know that the sampling
distribution. is centered at the population parameter so P is approximately well let's look for the center the center appears to be about 0.32. So it's approximately 0.32. Now, if we take a random sample of 500 U.S. citizens over 15 years old and compute the proportion of the sample who have never been married, how likely is it that we will see the result for each of the proportions given? Well, 0.3 for our sample proportion. Point three, a lot of the values are as extreme as the point three, so this is pretty likely. Point two, point two, there aren't too many, well, point two isn't even on the dot plot, so that means it's very unlikely. Point three seven. Point three seven is up here in the upper portion, so there are not too many that are higher than it. So it's not very likely. But it is possible. Now, 0 0.74, 0 0.74 isn't even on the dot plot, so that's going to be like the 0.02. It's very unlikely.